Welcome to Electro Online, and now we're going to get into something pretty interesting. Something most of us, or all of us really, should really be paying attention to. It's called the future value of an annuity. Well, an annuity is kind of like a 401k plan. It's a savings account, quite often tax deferred, which means that we're allowed to put money into it, and we don't get taxed on the money we put into it, and we don't get taxed on the interest that we earn until later on, perhaps when we retire and we start drawing money out of it, then it becomes our income stream and then we pay taxes on it. Usually at a much lower rate because when we retire we probably don't pull us out as much money out of the annuity as we would in our daily life while we're living our lives, while we have our working life and we're getting a paycheck. So here we have the equation, the future value is equal to the what we call periodic payment, we'll get into that in just a moment, times one plus the interest rate divided by the number of payments per year, it's kind of like conversions per year when we do compounded interest, but in this case, we're paying ourselves, so they're periodic payments, times m times t, that's the, the exponent, minus one divided by r over m. So FV stands for future value. What will it be worth in the future? Periodic payment is the, well, the number of payments that we make or the payments that we make to ourselves in our own account and since sometimes we do it weekly if we get paid weekly typically the payment comes out of our paycheck directly and if we get paid weekly then there would be 52 payments per year periodic payments if we get paid bi-weekly there would be 26 periodic payments per year if we get paid monthly there would be 12 so there's that's why we call it periodic payment because we don't always know what the period is R is the interest rate, sometimes we just say rate, but we call it interest rate. T is the number, the time in years that we allow this to go on. M is the number of payments per year. And then let's say in our example, the periodic payment is $200 bi-weekly. So we're allowing them to take $200 out of our paycheck every two weeks. That may seem like a lot, but it's a good thing to do if you can do without it because it's a nice savings account and it'll build up money in the future. And later on we can see how much money can actually build up over a period of, let's say, 30 or 40 years. But here we're going to just make it a 10-year period. And let's say that we can earn 6% interest. If we invest it in the right things, 6% 6 is definitely realistic in today's world. So here's the equation. So let's plug the numbers in. And let's see that if we were to put $200 in that account, in what we call the annuity every two weeks let's say it earns six percent on average and we do it for ten years how much money will we have at the end of the ten years well let's find let's find out so the periodic payment is two hundred dollars we multiply that times the quantity one plus the rate divided by well the number of payments per year since we're going to do it uh, let's say I should write it down right m is going to be equal to 26 because there's 26 bi-weekly periods in a year so that's divided by 26 times 26 times 10 we subtract 1 from all that and divided by 0 0.06 over m which would be 26 all right let's find out so what I like to do is I like to start from in here. So I go 0 0.06 divided by 26, add that to 1, and then raise that to the 260th power. It's nice to have calculators. So x to the y power, 260. Subtract 1 from that, minus 1 equals. And then I'm going to multiply that times the inverse of this, because dividing by a fraction is the same as multiply times the inverse. I'm going to multiply times 26 and divide by 0 0.06. So times 26 divide by 0 0.06, and then I multiply that times 200, times 200, and what do I get? After 10 years, that annuity would have 71,141 dollars and 17 cents. Wow, that's a nice savings account after 10 years. It only costs $200 per two week period. Now, Notice here that it says that the payment is made at the end of each period. So when you open the account, you don't start out by putting in the first $200. Because usually you open the account, and then two weeks later when you get paid, that's when the money gets taken out of your paycheck. So the first payment is made at the end of each pay period. In the next video, we'll see what it looks like when we do it at the beginning of each pay period. It's a slightly different number, and we'll see. But how much money did we put in the account during that 10 years? And so how much money did we make from that investment? Well, let's see now. So the amount that we put in, so the amount put in, that's going to be equal to $200 for every two weeks times 26 
week, uh, 26 pay periods in a whole year times 10 years. So let's see how much money we put in the bank and then we can make the, take the difference and see how much money we earn from that. So 200 times 26 times 10 is, well, we put away $52,000, but at the end we end up with $71,000. So we end up with about a $19,000 profit or interest earned over that investment. Now you say, well, that doesn't seem like a lot. And true enough, if you only do it for 10 years, it doesn't really accumulate that much, but the power of annuities, the power of 401k plan, is to do it over your entire lifetime. When you start working, when you get at your first job and you start taking money out of your paycheck and putting in an annuity, and let's say you do it for 40 years, you'd be amazed how big this number can get. It doesn't look very impressive after 10 years, but boy, what does it look like after 40 years? And we'll do some examples of that in the future. But first, you now understand what we mean by an annuity. It's something you put money into it on a weekly basis, bi-weekly basis, monthly basis, usually from a paycheck. It's usually tax deferred, and I'll show you in a future video why that's also an advantage, because you're actually making more money than that, because you don't pay taxes on it. So you'll see the difference there later. And then you can see how it grows over time and you begin to earn interest. And as you leave it in there more, 11 years, 12 years, 15 years, 20 years, it really begins to mushroom because now you're starting to earn some real money on a big amount. And you'll see it in the future how that works. But in the next video, we'll go ahead and do the same thing, but we're going to put the money in on the very first moment when we open the account. So that's paid at the beginning of each pay period and see what the difference in the amount will be after 10 years.